Hey, Jim, I understand uh, Time Track has a new trick. Yes, we're able to merge data across calendars now. Uh, no way. That's something people have wanted to do forever. Right now we're looking at Shane Christensen's calendar. He's a, a principal at a junior high school in Iowa. He's given us permission to use his calendar for this demonstration. Like any other principal or SAM team, when they want to look at their time with an individual teacher, show us what they do, Jim. Well, they'd go over to their sidebar here and go down to Individual Instruction, All Descriptors. And then they would choose the teacher who they'd like to view the data for, which we're going to use Catherine Wobser, and click Show Graph. And that will show a graph show it with all of the data, or all for the time spent with that teacher, and all of the descriptors that they have had assigned to them. Pretty cool. And so what we're looking at on this graph is the time that this particular principal, Shane, has spent with this particular teacher, Catherine, on 14 different instructional areas. A SAM principal team uses this information to think through what should we do next? Are we helping Catherine? What else can we do? But this calendar looks a little different on top, Jim. Yep, it's got the merge with calendars function there, and that's giving a listing of other data that can be brought in and shown on this graph. And so what this principal has done is he has another person in, their in his building who's also using time track to track the time that the vice principal in this case is spending with this particular teacher. Could we look at uh, the time the vice principal is spending with this teacher? Yes, to show just the vice principal, you would take the check mark away from this calendar, add it here under Josh Sinrum's calendar, and hit apply. Wow. And so Josh Sinrum, the vice principal, has spent about an hour and 35 minutes with this particular teacher, Catherine Wapser. Let's go back to just the principal's data. Okay. Let's restore that, take that away, and now we have just the principal's data. And now let's combine in the vice principal's data so on one chart we're looking at everyone's time spent with this particular teacher. Okay. We just add that check mark there next to his calendar, hit apply, and now the data is combined. You know, that's pretty cool because when a SAM principal and a leadership team look at what they're doing, this allows them to really look at it more globally. Who all is working with this particular teacher? What are we doing? And how can we help this teacher be as successful as possible with the students in her room in this case? So, Jim, is this hard to set up? No, it's not hard at all. Can you show us? I certainly can. What you would do is on the primary calendar, and that would be the principal's calendar, you would go up to user calendar access, and when you scroll down, there'll be a new area that says graph merge setup. This is where we've added the checkboxes that allow us to tell us what calendars we would like to see. So you just put a check mark next to the other calendars at your location and click save, and that saves the information and allows the calendar to be shared. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that since we're comparing individual information that the system knows which individuals we need to be sharing. So what you would do is go up to your settings, individual group setup, and make sure that your individual list is populated with the individual's name and their email address. The most important part of this is the email address because that is what links this individual across the calendars. That's pretty cool, Jim. Can you show us how you enter an email address for someone who hasn't put email addresses in? Uh, yes. All you would have to do is go you ahead and... me as an example. Okay. So we'll put in Schellinger, Mark, and then we'll put in mark at samsconnect.com, which is your email address, and click Add New Individual. And then if we scroll down here we will see that you have now been added to their individual list. Wow, that's pretty cool. You can also see that TimeTrack has captured what the school's email uh, protocol is. Uh, that's pretty neat. You don't have to type the whole thing in, just the thing at the beginning if it's someone who has a regular school address. So, Jim, <clears throat> uh, I know that when a principal is doing well, performing at the third level of the rubric or higher, why don't you bring that up so we can take a look at that. They have the option of making a request to the coach to have a second or third or even fourth calendar in their building. How long does that take when uh, someone makes a request like that and the coach says, yes, they're doing well? Uh, once we've got the coach's um, permission or the coach's confirmation, then it usually takes about a day, maybe two at the most, to go ahead and get that new set up. 
That's pretty cool. And so anytime a principal is at that third level of the rubric we're looking at right now, it's where they're scheduling at or above goal and they're having their daily meeting on a regular basis and that daily meeting is meaningful, then <clears throat> the principal simply lets the coach know that they'd like an additional calendar. The coach then confirms that the principal is doing well. And if that, if that happens, then you set up a second calendar. Is that right? That is correct. Now, Jim, let's go back to how you set up a calendar and you assign people. You have this page right here. So really what TimeTrack is doing when you're merging data is it's using those email addresses, isn't it? Yes. And so wouldn't it be helpful if when you're setting up a second calendar, if you could populate the second calendar with the same names and email addresses instead of having the the vice principal or the SAM go in and manually enter all that? Uh, yes, we do offer that as a, uh, as a service on request. If um, once a new calendar has been requested and is ready to be set up, uh, if you all just let us know, if the team lets us know what calendar has the original set of email addresses and then also tells us which calendar needs to be populated with those email addresses, then we can do that on this end. That usually maybe takes another day or two depending on uh, how many requests we've gotten and um, how long it takes to put those in. So Jim, for uh, principals and SANS, this ability to merge data has huge value. Does it work only on the chart that we looked at? No. Um, if you look over under your sidebar here, it's going to work for all three of the individual instruction graphs. So we'll go ahead and we can take a look at comparison. And in this we can compare walkthroughs. And we'll pick about four or five teachers here. And we can hit show graph. And there we show all the uh, time spent doing walkthroughs with these five individuals. So this is actually showing Shane's time with these five individuals. And now can you merge in the data with the vice principal too? Yes. And here comes Mr. Sinrums. I'll hit apply. And there we go. Now we see the time that both of them together have spent on walkthroughs with those individuals. And can we see just the vice principal's time? Yes. Just remove this calendar. Apply. And there we are. Pretty cool. What else does it work on? It also works on the frequency chart. Let's go back to our first teacher and look at the time spent in terms of frequency. Okay. Hold on. The Catherine Wobster that we've been using here. Okay, so on this chart, what we're looking at in terms of frequency is Shane's frequency of interaction with this particular teacher. It's showing it by week, and so if I look at August 18th, I can see he spent a small amount of time, and then he spent some time in August, and sometimes the first week in September, and then no time between the week of September 1st and the week of September 22nd. Can you now add in the vice principal's time? Here we go, and hit apply. So we see later in the year the vice principal spent some time as well. These frequency charts can really be valuable. Jim, this is pretty cool. Anything else it will do? Uh, there are two more charts that you can view, and those are under the graph wizard. And these are the charts that compare all of the time with, spent with all individuals. So if we go in here under instructional time use by individual for the current year, you'll see your merge with the calendars options are all up the top as normal. So in this view, what we're looking at is Shane, the principal's time overall with every teacher in his building that he is tracking. So we can see that he spends t more time with his vice principal, Zach, 20 hours than anyone else in his building. But you can also then see for each person he is tracking time with the instructional investment. Now can you add the vice principal's time in? Here we are. And there it is. Now with here the we see a color difference. Explain the color difference, Jim. We do see that their time has increased pretty significantly across the board, but why is there a color difference? The color difference shows where there is data that has been combined as opposed to data that only shows on one calendar or the other. So data that is only on this calendar will show shows up in red. Data that is only on the shared calendar will show up in blue. However, data that has been merged will show up in purple, the combination of red and blue. Pretty cool. So in order to use this merge data system or function that's now available in TimeTrack, you have to have more than one calendar. And to get more than one calendar, you have to be performing well on the performance rubric. You talk to your coach, your coach talks to Jim, and Jim sets you up with a second calendar. Jim will then populate the second calendar for you with email addresses if you have that in the first calendar for the principal. If not, Jim, then they have to add in their email addresses, don't they? Yes, they do. 
So Jim, this merging data function has great value to Shane, the principal, Zach, the vice principal, the SANS at the school, and then anyone else the principal decides who he or she would like to have track the time they're spending with people in their building. Now, you showed us how Shane made this possible on his calendar. I'm guessing that Zach has to do the same thing? Yes, Zach would have to do the exact same steps, so he'd just go up to User and Calendar Access, and he would scroll down to his Graph Merge setup. He'd see the calendars listed, put check marks next to them, and click Save, and then he would be good to go. Pretty cool. Jim, uh, you and uh, Eric Kramer have made this very easy to do. However, you know, sometimes the tech gets in the way. Uh, if a Sam or a principal or a vice principal is having trouble, what can they do? They can just go up here to the Help menu, click on Time Track Technical Support, which will take them to our support site, and then they can find our contact information over here on the right. We can be reached by email at techsupport at samsconnect.com or by telephone 502-509-9774.